Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm out on the range. Just got a new addition to the family. The Ruger Security 380 Light Rack. So first, uh, I've been wanting a Ruger for a while now and I just got this in. It's the 3.42 inch barrel, I believe. It came with a 10 plus one with a pinky extension. It also has a, fl a flush base plate if you wanna change that out for better concealability. And I noticed right off the rip with the mag, it's almost about the same size as a Glock 26, which is, if you're looking to carry, it's not too bad. And it's a lot wider. So you can definitely get a hands, uh, a grip on it. But if, if you're thinking, oh, okay, just 10 plus one, no big deal. Well, they got you. It also comes with a 15, which gives you more of the, <laughs> it gives you more of the, come on, there we go, the more full grip. But anyway, we're going to see how this thing shoots today. So let's get the ears, get ears on, go ahead and lock this back, since you're right there on the table. Get all nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna start off with the 10. We'll see how she handles. back on the last yeah she's pretty smooth recoil ain't bad all right let's go to the 15. And slide didn't lock back on that one, but brand new pistol. I'm half expecting it to have some break-in issues. But so far, I like it. And I seem to shoot it better one-handed than I did two. Go figure. Yeah, this is really smooth. The recoil ain't bad or nothing, even one-handed. I paid three twenty-seven for this gun altogether. So not only did it come with the ten, the fifteen, and the pistol, but it also came with a loader as well. Which you know, a lot of modern day guns they're a lot of them come with it. So that's kind of the standard for today, but overall, I mean, granted, yeah, I am gonna have to do some more practice with this, but I really like it. The slide's super easy to wrap back. Like, my wife has a problem racking her G2C because she's gotta work on the grip a little bit, but I let her try this one out last night and she pulled it back no problem so ladies not a bad option not bad at all the price was right it has blacked out rears fiber optic front ported slide 
And the takedown is super, super easy. Mag out. Cleared. But what you do is you literally pull this back till that mid meets up like that. And you just take your finger, pull this pin out. That's it. Putting it back together. Same thing. Bring it back till it matches. Just like that. Pin goes. Well, make sure the flat side is down. You'll feel it click in. There you go. So far, I gotta say, this was definitely worth the money. For a little concealed carry or just a little home defense, bedside, whatever. It's really nice to hold on to with no gloves. The trigger pull is phenomenal. Now, the reset is kind of long, but that trigger, it's nice and crisp. It's, it feels like it might have about a three and a half pound trigger in it. Yeah, that's... I'm barely putting pressure. So, this thing's almost... I, get, I have to quote and shout out to Coleon the War, but I have to quote him on this. This gun is actually pleasurable to shoot. You're not going to anticipate the recoil because it, it feels like it just it barely jumps. I'm definitely going to have to bring this out here again. I just, this is just too much fun. But anyway, I hope y'all stay safe. Thanks for watching, and y'all have a good one.